Ginger, thanks. Mark Ridley Thomas, a prominent local political figure, will be sentenced this morning in federal court. He was convicted of bribery, fraud, and conspiracy charges in connection with his role as an L.A. County supervisor. KTLA's Lena Bovin is live in downtown L.A. with more. Lena, good morning. Chris, Megan, good morning. And sentencing for Mark Ridley Thomas is expected to happen here in downtown at 10 a.m. this morning. Federal prosecutors, they're asking for a six-year prison sentence. But on the other side, his attorneys say home confinement, a little bit of a financial penalty, but no prison time should suffice in this case. Now, Mark Ridley Thomas, he has been a longtime politician, not only here in Los Angeles, but in the state of California. Earlier this year in March, he was convicted after a jury found him guilty of coercing a USC official to admit his son to the university in exchange for a lucrative contract with the city of Los Angeles. Ridley Thomas voted in support of county contracts that would favor USC while accepting benefits from his son, for his son from the university. The 68-year-old was convicted while he was a suspended member of the LA City Council on single count of conspiracy, bribery, mail fraud, and four counts for wire fraud stemming from his time serving on the LA County Board of Supervisors. Mark Ridley Thomas was first elected to office in 1991 and served on the LA City Council for nearly a dozen years before moving on to the state assembly. Yesterday, LA civil rights leaders spoke about the significance of his actions. It's a sad day, uh, not only for the community, but also for the constituents in his district, for everybody in the city of LA. Anytime you have a powerful black elected official like Mark Ridley Thomas that's subjected to imprisonment, that sends a, a message a bad message in many ways, not only to the community, in fact, the lack of representation. It sends a message, if you are an elected official, black or otherwise, you better get it right. You better dot all of your uh, I's and cross all of your T's. You're being watched. Now, going back to the sentencing, his defense attorneys are hoping that he will get the lesser sentence, considering that's what was given to his co-defendant, uh, Marilyn Flynn. That is the very latest. I'm Lena Berman reporting live here in downtown LA this morning. KTLA 5 News.